In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to make glitched up sounding patterns and percussion effects using 128s, or palettes of samples. If you don't know how to construct 128s, check out my 4 minute video tutorial on lynchaudio.com. It's pretty easy to do, but in this video I'll skip by the basics of it and get right to the point. Okay, so open a drum rack and put a sampler on one of the pads of the drum rack. We're going to fill the sampler with a wide selection of sounds, and you can build these palettes one by one or just grab up to 128 sounds out of a folder. For this demo, I'll choose all the sounds in the Divine Sounds Circuit Bent 808 collection. So I'll copy this entire folder into a sampler. So all my samples are in the sampler. I'll choose the Zone tab, and then I will choose the Chain Selector view. So now I'm going to select all the samples by clicking Command A, and choose Distribute Ranges Equally. This means that when I sequence a pattern, whatever noise is selected by this Chain Selector here is going to be the one playing. Again, for a more in-depth explanation of 128s, watch my previous 4-minute tutorial on them. Now I'll sequence up a quick pattern by just putting down 16th notes on this MIDI track here. You can have a pattern of any length and notes of any resolution, so play around and experiment. But for simplicity and for this example, I'll just uh, show you what it sounds like with 16th notes everywhere. Now notice that when we play this clip, it's just the same sound playing on each 16th note. If we were to move the chain selector around, that would select a different sound to play. What we'll do to create a glitched up pattern is to automate the movement of this chain selector so it automatically bounces between sounds as the pattern plays. Let's click on our clip to take us to all the options within it. Now make your envelopes section available by clicking on this little E. In the envelope section, choose the drum rack device with our sounds on it. And in the drop down below that, we're going to choose the parameter that we want to automate, which is in this case the sample selector. Now we'll draw some automation. You can use the draw tool or you can just double click on the lines to create nodes uh, for a more sloped pattern. What we're doing here is moving the chain selector via this automation pattern. When we play the clip, notice that the sounds are changing with the automation pattern. I'll just play around with this automation to give the pattern a little more musical feel. Now if we go back to the chain selector view, notice that you can actually see the little bar moving with the automation. A great set of parameters to experiment with, with this type of pattern to get variations on your sound, are the attack, decay, sustain, and release settings of the amplitude envelope. You'll find these in the filter slash global settings of the sampler instrument, and by playing with these parameters you can really sculpt the sound of your pattern. Let's just listen to how some of these settings sound as we change them. I won't explain it too much, I'll just kind of experiment, and I encourage you to do the same especially by automating some of these parameters.
My goal is that by watching these demonstrations, you can think of ways to expand upon them and apply them to your own productions and genres. Feel free to send me questions and requests for other tutorials.